Okay, I'm going to do a reading for the collective for October 2020. A reading for the collective for October 2020. What do we need to know? Tell us what we need to know. <laughs> Collective reading, October 2020. What do we need to know? October 2020. Tell us what we need to know. Okay, so far we have the Four of Cups reversed. And in this card here, we have somebody that's bored with the situation. And if you can look and see around, they have plenty of admirers around them, but they're not interested in anything that's being offered. So it's being bored in a situation. And this is a breakup. This is a loss of a friendship a relationship it could be a long-term relationship it could be family friends it could be you know like a teacher or a parent relationship it could be any any kind of friendship that's ending but um basically you were bored in a situation um you know there's a breakup that's going on or the ending of something some kind of relationship and the reason why is because there's an aries i'm sorry air sign Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, that's in the picture, and they are basically, it's basically a queen that doesn't put up with any bullshit, um, she definitely, you know, cuts people out that don't serve her, if someone lies to her, it's definitely somebody she's gonna just cut off and not talk to anymore, she's a loving queen, but she's very cool and cold-hearted, but not in a mean way, she just doesn't put up with bullshit. So basically, there was somebody bored in a relationship and they weren't accepting what was being offered. So then there was some kind of breakup. And this included a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, female divine, divine feminine energy. And she's basically cutting out the bullshit with the Emperor. Okay, in this picture, the Emperor is tied up. He's basically trying to find his brain again because apparently he lost his damn mind trying to mess with the Queen of Swords because the Queen of Swords don't put up with any kind of bullshit. So therefore, the Emperor is definitely needing to get himself in check. He's trying to be a trickster, be manipulative. You know, try to do things behind your back, sneaky things. It could be something seriously mean, or it could be something as simple as, um, like a white, little white lie. But in this card, to me, it's something kind of serious. So, she's cutting out this bullshit with this emperor who's trying to be a trickster. So, whoever this is, let's see if we have any more cards. Any more cards to clarify? The Magician Reverse. What kind of tricks? What do we need to know? What kind of tricks are they playing? What kind of tricks are they playing? That's going to work. Let's see. Ooh. Trying to be wasteful. Thoughts that have gone wasted. Time that has gone wasted. Um, basically, no thoughts. You're not getting anywhere in the situation. So, the trickster is basically just wasting his time, so they're not going to get away with anything. Let's see if we can get another card. Let's see here. Okay, the star card wanted to flip out, so it seems like you have some kind of hope in the situation, or it could be an Aquarius that you're working with or dealing with. Um... I'm not sure. Depends on your situation. This is for the collective. We have the Nine of Swords reversed, and this is a card in the deck that stands for like insomnia, sleepless nights, um, 
you know, this lady's cutting out this bullshit with this. And this emperor can also be a husband. It could be a brother. It could be um, just a father figure, someone who likes to be in control. But they're playing tricks and they're wasting. I'm not sure exactly what they're wasting, but they're, oh, they're wasting their time playing tricks and trying to deceive you. And that's causing them to have sleepless nights and insomnia. But they are trying to deceive you and you have actually, after that, you get a new beginning. You, you find out who this person is for who they are by being the queen of swords. And you get your new beginning and start over after this person has been exposed. And this is the five of swords here. This is the person being exposed. Whoever this is in this relationship that it had ended. Um, right here. This was the ending of the relationship. Let's see. You turn it this way. You get the two of ghosts. And I think that's really cute too. But upside down is the ending of a relationship. And this is the person being bored in the relationship. I think these cards are really cute. But that was reversed also. And this is the Queen of Swords. This is the Gemini Libra Aquarius. She's cutting out the bullshit. And I just want to show you a picture of the Emperor. Um, how, he's, how he looks in this deck. He's um, basically tied up and chained. And um, in the other decks he isn't. So this feels like the Emperor definitely is under the control of the Queen of Swords. And he will not be able to play any more tricks. And that's the magician. In reverse, like I said, he's a trickster. You know, when he's upright, he manifests things, you know, and he's a good magician. But upside down, he's a trickster. And like I said, um, he's definitely not going to get away with it with the ace of swords. Eight of wands reversed. And then the sleepless nights and the insomnia, the nine of bats reversed. And this is them being exposed, the five of bats. And at the end is the new beginning, starting over. After the person's been exposed, you will be able to start over. So good luck, everyone.